So the Village Solar Project is a collaboration between Solar One, uh, Manhattan Comprehensive Night and Day High School, and uh, Cooper Union. Basically what we're doing uh, is, you know, we wanted to create this 10-week program where the students here were able to really get their hands on and uh, build solar-powered applications. This is the circuit board. I have to connect it to the LED and put the wire in inside the housing and hopefully it works. <laughs> I'm making a solar lamp. I wouldn't mind giving it to somebody who really needs it. No problem at all. <laughs> The students, they built the solar panels, uh, they built uh, very efficient, cheap uh, lanterns, uh, and they built solar charging stations that they charge those lanterns. Every time your lanterns do this, the thing to do for right now would be to unplug your battery and plug it back in again. What that's going to do is basically reset the microcontroller. So then it'll do the right thing. I'm coming! Can I keep it or are you taking yeah, you, it? You can keep it. All right. I'll fix the code and I'll come back and I'll reprogram everyone's board. Right. The lanterns and the charging stations are, are basically built on a, a design that would be, you know, applicable in the, throughout the developing world, places where there is no electricity or no access to the grid. <laughs> The students uh, that were involved here came from all throughout the developing world, uh, and then a couple kids from the Bronx as well. New York is obviously a very immigrant rich place, but Manhattan Comprehensive of all the schools is really, the, you know, the majority of the population of students who are not only from other countries, but really most of them have arrived here in the last year, 18 months. A lot of them are here by themselves, uh, sort of supporting themselves. They all have kind of one foot sort of in the country that they're from, and uh, so we wanted to kind of show them how solar not only you know, is relevant here in their in their in their their new home, uh, but uh, obviously has a very important application in, in, in where they're where they're coming from. This is the solar panel. We are the one who built it, the student of Manhattan Comprehensive 19 Day High School. This is the solar controller. This controls the amount of electricity that comes from the solar panel and going to the battery. The battery is right behind here. This is the converter that converts the electricity from DC to AC. You see? And when it's on, you're going to see the light. I'm from Senegal, West Africa. My plan is to introduce one of these in my country to the village, show it to people and give it to them as for light. Some of them, they don't have electricity, so they might use this at night and it's good for them. So if you have your laptop or if you have your cell phone, you can just plug it here, you see the light, and put your charger there. I would like to make a business doing this and building solar panel without buying from Europe or from other countries. I would like to teach other people who live there, maybe my cousin or anybody who's interesting about it, teach them how to do it so it's going to be a good thing for us so we're going to know and we're going to develop our country too. Haiti, my mother is still in Haiti, and they have a hard time, you know, getting electricity down there. This is the button right there, that's the switch button. Yeah. You just click on it once, and then you just press it again, and then light becomes brighter and brighter. It took a long time, but I get it done. <laughs> I like it. It was really frustrating, but <laughs> that's, that's how, it, you know, that's life. So you can use it to do your homework and everything. Let's say this is your notebook right there. It's, you don't need like electricity. That's your electricity right there. You see everything perfectly during your homework. You can use it to study. It's perfect. In Haiti, a lot of people would be glad to have something like that because many people, you know, spending money, money every single day to buy, you know, gas, to put some kerosene lamps, just to use, and it's it's really dirty. You know, there's some smoke coming out and everything. It's really cheap and it's it's amazing. 
it's really helpful. It can really help them down there. Saving this one. That's my baby right there. <laughs> yeah. I'm going home with it. I'm gonna give it to my mother as a gift. And she's gonna have electricity forever now. <laughs> yeah. It's been kind of the, the joy of my experience working at Solar One has been doing this internship and really of all the great things that I've participated in the organization, it's been really the highlight every year, every spring doing some new project with these uh, with these with these students. Yeah,